Mediterranean Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio Mediterranean cuisine is the foods and methods of preparation by people of the Mediterranean Basin region, especially those of Southern Europe. The idea of a Mediterranean cuisine originates with the cookery writer Elizabeth David S. Book, A Book of Mediterranean Food. She and other writers including the Tunisian historian Mohamed Yassine Essid define the three core elements of the cuisine as the olive, wheat and the grape, yielding olive oil, bread and pasta, and wine. Other writers emphasize the diversity of the region's foods and deny that it is a useful concept. The geographical area covered broadly follows the distribution of the olive tree, as noted by David and Essid. Geography By city and country By a key culinary plant Key ingredients Olive Wheat Grape History Concept Origins Cooking Macrobi Egyptian Levantine Ottoman Greek Italian French Spanish Anna Spirits Mediterranean Diet and Cuisine A Changing Cuisine Notes Sources the region spans a wide variety of cultures with distinct cuisines, in particular the Maccabi, Egyptian, Levantine, Ottoman, Greek, Italian, Provençal, and Spanish. However, the historical connections of the region, as well as the impact of the Mediterranean Sea on the region's climate and economy, mean that these cuisines share dishes beyond the core trio of oil, bread and wine, such as roast lamb or mutton, meat stews with vegetables and tomato, and the salted cured fish roe, batarga, found across the region. Spirits based on anise are drunk in many countries around the Mediterranean. The cooking of the area is not to be confused with the Mediterranean diet made popular because of the apparent health benefits of a diet rich in olive oil, wheat and other grains, fruits, vegetables, and a certain amount of seafood, but low in meat and dairy products. Mediterranean cuisine encompasses the ways that these and other ingredients, including meat, are dealt with in the kitchen, whether they are health-giving or not. The cookery writer Elizabeth David S. Introduction to a Book of Mediterranean Food defines her scope as the cooking of the Mediterranean shores. She sketches out the geographical limits as From Gibraltar to the Bosphorus, down the Rhone Valley, through the great seaports of Marseilles, Barcelona and Genoa, across to Tunis and Alexandria, embracing all the Mediterranean islands, Corsica, Sicily, Sardinia, Crete, the Cyclades, Cyprus, to the mainland of Greece and the much disputed territories of Syria, the Lebanon, Constantinople, and Smyrna. David defines the region as coextensive with the range of the olive tree, those blessed lands of sun and sea and olive trees. The olive's natural distribution is limited by frost and by availability of water. It is therefore constrained to a more or less narrow zone around the Mediterranean Sea, except in the Maghreb and in Spain, where it is distributed more widely, and on the islands of the Mediterranean, where it is widespread. The Tunisian historian Mohamed Yassine Essid similarly defines the region by the olive's presence along with bread, wheat and the grape as the basic products of Mediterranean folk cuisine. Mediterranean cuisine is defined by the presence of fundamental elements which are said to play a more important role than others, 
reflecting a community of beliefs and practices which transcend religions, languages, and even societies. The olive tree, the emblematic tree on more than one account, traces the bounds of a frontier of landscapes and lives on either side of which the Mediterranean begins or ends. Above Montelimar, nicknamed Gates of Provence, is the limit of the olive. Esed, as already mentioned, identifies the trinity of basic ingredients of traditional Mediterranean cuisine as the olive, wheat, and the grape, yielding oil, bread, and wine respectively. The archaeologist Colin Renfrew calls this the Mediterranean triad. The olive appears to come from the region of Persia and Mesopotamia, at least 6,000 years ago. It spread from there to nearby areas, and has been cultivated since the early Bronze Age in southern Turkey, the Levant, and Crete. The ten countries with the largest harvests are all near the Mediterranean, together, they produce 95% of the world's olives. The olive yields bitter fruits, made edible by curing and fermentation, and olive oil. Some 90% of the fruit production goes into olive oil. The Mediterranean region accounts for the world's highest consumption of olive oil, in 2014, the highest consuming country, Greece, used 17 kg per head, Italy, 12 kg, Spain 3 kg, the United States for comparison used only 1 kg per head. Wheat was domesticated in the Fertile Crescent, in and near the Levant some 10,000 years ago. Its ancestors include wild emmer wheat, this was hybridized, harvested, and sown to create domestic strains with larger grains, in ears that shatter less readily than wild forms. It had been spread across the Mediterranean region as far as Spain by 5000 BC. Wheat is a staple food in the Mediterranean region. Wheat bread was already critically important in the Empire of Ancient Rome, which included the entire region, at that time, around 2000 years ago, North Africa was the breadbasket of the empire. Other staple wheat-based Mediterranean foods include pasta and semolina products such as couscous and burgle. In turn, these are made into dishes such as the Greek dessert Galactaburko, consisting of phyllo pastry parcels around a custard made with semolina. A widespread wheat dish from Turkey and the Levant to Iran and India is halva, a dessert of sweetened semolina with butter, milk, and pine kernels. The grape was domesticated between 7000 and 4000 BC between the Black Sea and Persia. Archaeological evidence shows that wine was being made there by 6000 BC, reaching Greece and Crete in the 5th millennium BC and Spain by the last millennium BC. Winemaking started in Italy in the 9th century BC, and in France around 600 BC. Grapes are mostly grown for making wine and vinegar as basic components of the Mediterranean diet as well for drying as raisins or for eating as table grapes. Raisins and table grape varieties are chosen for their flavor. Grape production remains important in the Mediterranean area, with southern Europe accounting for 21% of the world's harvest. In 2014, Italy produced 6.9 million tons of grapes, Spain 6.2 mt, France 6.2 mt, Turkey 4.2 mt, and Germany 1.2 mt. Wine production for Southern Europe was 37% of the world total in 2014, with Italy producing 4.8 mt, Spain 4.6 mt, France 4.3 mt, and Germany 0.9 mt. The concept of a Mediterranean cuisine is very recent, probably dating from the publication of David's A Book of Mediterranean Food. David herself did not use the term, 
speaking instead of Mediterranean food, cookery, or cooking. The usefulness of the concept is disputed. Carol Halstowski, author of the book Food Culture in the Mediterranean, is among the authors who use Mediterranean cuisine interchangeably with Mediterranean food. In the preface to her book she writes, Mediterranean food is incredibly popular, pasta, pizza, sausage, wine, gyros, kebab, and falafel can be found just about everywhere. Food experts and cookbook authors adore Mediterranean cuisine. Essid acknowledges that geographical differences and the vicissitudes of history have affected the food of different Mediterranean lands, but nonetheless asserts that Rules for the preparation and consumption of food are common to the lands that border the Mediterranean. They offer both stability, continuity, and reproduction of a specific pattern of eating which resists conquest, invasion, colonization, social change, industrialization and urbanization. Consequently, wherever you go, in southern Europe or the lands bordering the southern Mediterranean, you will find a cuisine and gastronomic ritual which is always familiar. On the other hand, Sami Zubaida argues in his book Culinary Cultures of the Middle East that The idea of the standard Mediterranean, is a modern construction of food writers and publicists in Europe and North America earnestly preaching what is now thought to be a healthy diet to their audiences by invoking a stereotype of the healthy other on the shores of the Mediterranean. Their colleagues in Mediterranean countries are only too willing to perpetuate this myth. The fact of the matter is that the Mediterranean contains varied cultures. The cookery author Clifford A. Wright wrote in 1999, There really is no such thing as Mediterranean cuisine. At the same time, we seem to know what we mean when we use the expression. Wright argued that David's book itself was largely about specifically French Mediterranean food, pointing out that only 4% of her recipes come from North Africa or the Levant. Since David's time, a variety of books on Mediterranean cuisine have been written, including Abu Shihab's 2012 and J.R. Stevens' 2015 books of that name, Helstowski's 2009 book, already mentioned, books by other cookery writers include S. Rose Purple Citrus and Sweet Perfume, Cuisine of the Eastern Mediterranean, and Marie-Pierre Moyne's Mediterranean Cookbook. There are many more cookbooks covering specific cuisines in the Mediterranean area, such as B. Santica's The Original Mediterranean Cuisine, Medieval Recipes for Today, on Catalan and Italian Recipes, and H. F. Ullman's On the Cooking of Tunisia, Spain, and Italy, each one subtitled Mediterranean Cuisine. The ingredients of Mediterranean cuisine are to an extent different from those of the cuisine of Northern Europe, with olive oil instead of butter, wine instead of beer. The list of available ingredients has changed over the centuries. One major change was the introduction of many foods by the Arabs to Portugal, Spain, and Sicily in the Middle Ages. Those foods included aubergines, spinach, sugar cane, rice, apricots, and citrus fruits, creating the distinctive culinary tradition of Al-Andalus. Another major change was the arrival of foods from the Americas in early modern times, notably the incorporation of the potato into northern European cuisine, and the eager adoption of the tomato into Mediterranean cuisine. The tomato, so central now to that cuisine, was first described in print by Pietro Andrea Mattioli in 1544. Similarly, many of the species of Phaseolus beans now used around the Mediterranean, including P. vulgaris, were brought back from the Americas by Spanish and Portuguese explorers. 
David's introduction to her 1950 book characterizes the cooking of the Mediterranean countries as conditioned naturally by variations in climate and soil and the relative industry or indolence of the inhabitants. David identifies the ever-recurring elements in the food of this extensive region as olive oil, saffron, garlic, pungent local wines, as well as the aromatic perfume of herbs, especially rosemary, wild marjoram, and basil, and the bright colors of fresh foods in the markets, pimentos, aubergines, tomatoes, olives, melons, figs, and shiny fish, silver, vermilion, or tiger-striped. She includes cheeses of sheep's or goat's milk, figs from Smyrna on long strings and sheets of apricot paste which is dissolved in water to make a cooling drink. With common ingredients including the olive, wheat and grape, a shared climate, and a long period for cultural exchange, it might be expected that a single, pan-Mediterranean cuisine would have developed. Certain items, such as olive oil, bread, wine, roast lamb, or mutton, batarga, and stews of meat with vegetables and tomato Italian chimbata, Turkish bulyo kebab, are indeed found all around the Mediterranean. Despite this, however, the lands bordering the Mediterranean Sea have distinct regional cuisines, from the Maghrib, Levant, and Ottoman to the Italian, French, and Spanish. Each of those, in turn, has national and provincial variations. Maghrebi cuisine includes the cuisines of Algeria, Libya, Morocco, and Tunisia. One of the most characteristic dishes of the region is couscous, a steamed, small-grained wheat semolina, served with a stew. The dish is ancient, mentioned by the medieval traveler Ibn Battida and found for example also in the Western Sicilian cuisine, especially in the province of Trapani, where it was reintroduced after 1600. One stew that may be served with couscous is the Moroccan tajin, a hearty, somewhat dry dish of meat and vegetables, cooked slowly in a pot with a tall conical lid. Dishes from the Maghreb region of North Africa are often colored and flavored with the hot spice mixtures Harissa and Rasl Hanout. Other characteristic flavorings of the region are preserved lemons and dried apricots and raisins. Egyptian cuisine has ancient roots, with evidence that, for example, cheese has been made in Egypt since at least 3000 BC. Falafel are small fried croquettes of bean or chickpea flour, eaten across the Levant and the West, but originating in Egypt, they are claimed as theirs by Coptic Christians. Full metamis, a stew of fava beans with oil and cumin, is popular in Egypt and has become widespread across the Arab world. Duxa is a dip made of pounded herbs, hazelnuts, and spices, eaten with bread. Kishri is a foreign-derived 19th-century dish of rice, lentils, and pasta, variously garnished, it began as food for the poor, but has become a national dish. Levantine cuisine is the cooking of the Levant. Among the most distinctive foods of this cuisine are traditional small meze dishes such as tabbouli, hummus, and baba ganesh. Tabbouli is a dish of bulgur cracked wheat with tomatoes, parsley, mint, and onion, dressed with olive oil and lemon juice. Baba ganesh, sometimes called poor man's caviar, is a puree of aubergine with olive oil, often mixed with chopped onion, tomato, cumin, garlic, lemon juice, and parsley. The dish is popular across the whole of the eastern Mediterranean and North Africa. Full metamis, originally from Egypt and still a national dish there, consists of fava beans with oil and cumin, it is popular throughout the Levant. The dish may be ancient, dried beans of Neolithic age have been found near Nazareth. 
Ottoman cuisine has given rise to the cuisines of modern Turkey, parts of the Balkans, Cyprus, and Greece. A distinctive element is the family of small flaky pastries called borak. These are popular and widespread across the eastern Mediterranean region, and date as far back as ancient Roman times. Borak are made of thin sheets of phyllo pastry, filled with mixtures such as meat, caramelized onion, and sweet peppers. Another widespread and popular dish is moussaka, a baked dish of aubergine or potato with various other ingredients, often minced meat and tomatoes, sometimes a layer of egg custard or bechamel sauce on top. In its Greek variant, well known outside the region, it includes layers of aubergine and minced meat with custard or bechamel sauce on top, but that version is a relatively recent innovation, introduced by the chef Nikolaus Tselemens in the 1920s. Much of Greek cuisine is part of the larger tradition of Ottoman cuisine, the names of the dishes revealing Arabic, Persian or Turkish roots, moussaka, zatsiki, yuvarlakia, kefs, and so on. Many dishes names probably entered the Greek vocabulary during Ottoman times, or earlier in contact with the Persians and the Arabs. However, some dishes may be pre-Ottoman, only taking Turkish names later, the historians of food John Ash and Andrew Dalby, for example, speculate that grape leaf dalmatis were made by the early Byzantine period, while Alan Davidson traces Trahana to the ancient Greek Tragos and Skordalia to the ancient Athenian Skorothalmi. Greek cookery makes wide use of vegetables, olive oil, grains, fish, wine, and meat. Other important ingredients include olives, cheese, aubergine, courgette, lemon juice, vegetables, herbs, bread, and yogurt. Some dishes can be traced back to ancient Greece, lentil soup, fasolata, retsina, and pastili, some to the Hellenistic and Roman periods, lauk anico, and Byzantium, feta cheese, avgadarejo, and paximadia. Lakerda, mitzisra cheese, and desserts like dipples, kaularakia, mustokalara and melamacarano also date back to the Byzantine period, while the variety of different pitas probably dates back to the ancient times. Mediterranean Italian cuisine includes much of Italy outside the north and the mountainous inland regions. It is a diverse cuisine but among its best known and most characteristic foods are risotto, pizza in Neapolitan and Sicilian styles, and pasta dishes such as spaghetti. Risotto is a dish made using Italian short grain rice, which is both highly absorbent and resistant to turning into a pudding when cooked with stock and flavored with onions and garlic, cooked in butter. Anna Gossetti della Salda's book of Italian regional cookery lists 37 risotto recipes, 18 of them from the Veneto. Variations among Veneto risottos include additions of fish and white wine, chicken, eel, mushrooms and grated parmesan cheese, quails, small pieces of beef, courgettes, clams, ragu, beans, mussels, prawns, cuttlefish, and asparagus. Pizza, or as David notes Pisiladina or Pisiladiere in Provence, is a piece of bread dough rolled out thin, with a topping which varies from place to place, but is generally much simpler than those in the English-speaking world. In Naples this is tomato, anchovies, and buffalo mozzarella. In San Remo it is onions cooked in olive oil, with salted sardines. The Provençal variety uses onions, black olives, and anchovies. Spaghetti dishes also vary. It may be eaten as David says simply with olive oil and garlic, without cheese, or with a sauce of very red and ripe peeled tomatoes, cooked briefly and flavored with garlic and either basil or parsley. 
One Sicilian variant includes pieces of bacon, onions fried in fat, garlic, stoned olives, and anchovies, served with olive oil and grated Parmesan cheese. Mediterranean French cuisine includes the cooking styles of Provence, Occitania, and the island of Corsica. Distinctive dishes that make use of local ingredients include bouillabaisse and salade nicoise. Bouillabaisse is a substantial dish from the French port of Marseille, capital of Provence. It is a stew for at least eight people, because it should contain many kinds of fish such as crayfish, gurnard, weaver, john dory, monkfish, conger eel, whiting, sea bass, and crab. These are cooked with Mediterranean vegetables and herbs, namely onions, garlic, tomatoes, thyme, fennel, parsley, bay, and orange peel. Salad Nicoise is a colorful salad of tomatoes, tuna, hard-boiled eggs, Nicoise olives, and anchovies, dressed with a vinaigrette. Spain's varied Mediterranean cuisines includes the cooking of Andalusia, Murcia, Catalonia, Valencia, and the Balearic Islands. Paella is a characteristic Spanish dish, originally from Valencia, radiating early on to Catalonia and Murcia along Spain's Mediterranean coast. It comes in many versions, and may contain a mixture of chicken, pork, rabbit, or shellfish sautéed in olive oil in a large shallow pan, with vegetables, and typically round grain rice cooked to absorb the water and colored with saffron. The dish may be varied with artichoke hearts, peas, sweet peppers, lima beans, string beans, or sausages. Anise is used around the Mediterranean to flavor spirits including French pastis and absinthe, Greek ouzo, Bulgarian mastica, Italian sambuca, Spanish anisado, Turkish rak, Lebanese, Libyan, Syrian, Jordanian, Israeli and Palestinian Iraq, and Algerian anisette crystal. The Mediterranean diet, popularized in the 1970s, is inspired by the cuisine of parts of Greece and Italy in the early 1960s. The American Diabetes Association writes about Mediterranean-style eating, mentioning the traditional Mediterranean lifestyle, of, eating healthfully, together among family and friends, and asserting that Mediterranean cuisine is plant-based, citing the ingredients whole grains, fruits, vegetables, herbs, and spices, beans, nuts, seeds, and olive oil and stating that most foods in a Mediterranean diet come from plants. The 1984 Guida all'Italia Gastronomica states that around 1975, under the impulse of one of those new nutritional directives by which good cooking is too often influenced, the Americans discovered the so-called Mediterranean diet. The name even pleased Italian government officials, who made one modification, changing from diet a word which has always seemed punitive and therefore unpleasant to Mediterranean cuisine. Since David wrote about Mediterranean food in 1950, and indeed since dietary researchers showed in the 1950s that people around the Mediterranean had less coronary heart disease than the peoples of Northern Europe, the traditional Mediterranean ways of life and of eating have changed. Increased wealth and busy lives have led people to eat more meat and less vegetables, their diet is becoming more Northern European, with more convenience foods and with less of a preventative effect on cardiovascular disease.